Yo, what up everyone out there in YouTube land? Grim's on the beat here. So today I want to talk to you guys about editing vocals. One thing I think a lot of beginner mixing engineers tend to skip is going through all the vocal tracks and listening for the spots where you can hear the artist breathing and removing those breaths or turning them down. Now, this is definitely something I would recommend discussing with the artist because some artists do have preferences. Some artists don't care. Some artists don't like the breasts in there at all and want all the breasts completely removed. Some artists want them left in on the lead vocal to sound more natural. Some artists just want them turned down. So, I'm going to cover a few different scenarios. So, regardless, I would recommend going through all the background vocals and completely removing the breaths. And throw in some fades. Call it a day. However, on the lead vocal, depending on the artist's preference... If they have one, you could go remove the breasts if that's what the artist wants, and then throw in some fades. Or you could leave them. Some artists just want them left alone, don't do anything, they want the sound as natural as possible. You could also do a compromise of the two. And separate the breaths from the vocal, but move them all to a different track. That way you can compress and EQ the vocal, and then leave the breaths alone. That way they don't get compressed, and the volume of them doesn't get brought up. And uh, just throw a high-pass filter on there, and then you've got a separate track with all the breaths on it, and you can control how loud they are. Now, a reason why you want to go and remove all the breaths from all the background tracks completely, or all the backing vocals completely, my bad, is because when an artist goes and records their vocals and they stack vocal on top of vocal on, on top of vocal, most of, a lot of the time, they tend to breathe in the same spots. Sometimes this is subconscious. Sometimes this is on purpose. Some artists will even go so far as to write the spots where they breathe into their verse. So it is timed intentionally where they breathe. So when they record a vocal, a lead vocal, and then a dub and stuff, it's always in the same spot. And these breaths tend to stack and they get louder and louder and louder. So you want to go through and cut them out. That way you don't got the breaths building and building and building and stacking on each other. That way if you're, the artist does want breaths left in, you just leave them in on the lead vocal. And they're not overly loud, but you still got that natural feel like in the old days when it was on tape. I assume... It was a little difficult to go through and remove the breasts. I've never actually worked with tape before myself. I do know that they used to go and splice stuff and do edits with a razor blade. So I imagine going through removing breasts would be difficult if not impossible. So it's left in there, but it really does leave, leaving the breast really does leave a more natural sound to the performance, though. It's just, when you go and add compression and cueing and everything, and, you know, stuff gets brought up in volume, those breasts get brought up with it, and they get loud. Which is why I recommend sometimes moving them to a different track if, really irritates you 
but it all depends on what the artist is going for. And if the artist doesn't care one way or another, then it's mainly your preference. Different mixing engineers have different idiosyncrasies. You know, little things that bother them. Little things that they do in every mix. But, you know, sometimes that stuff is subconscious, too. Getting sidetracked a little, anyway. I'm out here, guys. Have a good day.